boys, let's get this going. Is it time? It's time. It's 2016. Happy Friday. fucking what, what the New fuck Year is again. We already said New Year last time, but now it's really like the New Year almost. Not quite the New Year because New Year doesn't start yet. But anyway, happy 2016 again. Wait now, Rick. Rick. What do you mean? Did wait. Back her up. What do you mean the New Year doesn't start yet? It's 2016 right now. I guess according to the calendar, yeah, it's the new year has begun, depending on whose calendar you're following. But my new year does not fucking start yet because it's the same thing. It's still fucking winter. It's not a new year. There's nothing different about it. So the new year for me starts in the fucking spring when it gets warm. Ricky, that doesn't make any fucking sense, man. Uh, new it's, Year's it's things can change, and they haven't. Still fucking same snow was here last fucking year. So when that snow melts, it's spring. That's the new year, and that's when I fucking... Start celebrating 2016. So when you're writing a check, well, not that you've ever written a fucking check, but if you were, you know, writing down, filling out a form, what year would you put? Okay. It is probably, as the population wants it to be, a new year. But not for me, is all I'm saying. Well, I, so don't, you, you, I don't officially start thinking, okay, now it's fucking 2016 until winter's gone, spring is here, snow's gone. But you need like exact days. So, so what? You have a, your own calendar year that starts when? There's the no first official of, date when the fucking warmth and snow are gone and the warmth comes. New year. Well, you gotta have an official change. fucking date. What is it? Changes every year. Well, I think it should change every year. Why the fuck does that have to be the same day? And when that day comes, we're gonna have another New Year's fucking party, and that's when that'll be my last night. But how do you know? I like start you, all my changes. What day do you pick? Just you just base it on the snow. It's usually March, sometimes April, sometimes it's February. Remember two years ago in February, all the snow is gone, it's warm as fuck. New Year. Oh my god. And that's when you start your resolutions. Well, what about when the groundhog comes out? Do you even do you fucking pay attention to that? The what? The, the groundhog, groundhog. When he comes out, you know, and looks you mean around. The, sea otter. the what? It's, are you talking about the fucking Thing that comes out in the spring that tells you it's the first day of summer. Yeah, it's the sea summer. otter comes out of the ocean. If it's fucking warm, he curls up on the beach and fucking gets a little sun. If it's shitty out, he goes back to the fucking ocean with the dolphins. <laughs> and winter lasts a lot fucking longer, doesn't it? That is so fucked, man. No, it's a, it's not a it's sea otter. It's not a fucking sea otter. It's a fucking it, groundhog. That's why it's called Groundhog Day. It's not sea otter day. Well, it must be something different than my dad. We celebrated something with the fucking sea otter. We used to go down on the beach. And, See if the fucking sea otter would come up on the beach, and most years he didn't. So on Groundhog Day, you guys would head to the beach and wait for the sea otter. Sea otter day, that's that fucking sea world. Groundhog day is... He's talking about the sea otters down at the, the fucking wildlife park. What the fuck? That are in the tank every What's fucking What's the groundhog year. thing, then? It's the groundhog that comes out of the fucking hole, man. If it sees the so, shadow, so see what? gets afraid, it takes off. That's the fucking stupidest thing I ever heard. I mean, well, that's the sea otter makes we... a fuck of a lot more sense. He comes out of the water. If it's warm, he stays out of the water. If he doesn't, he goes back to the dolphin and says, it's, it's too fucking cold. It's not a yet. fucking, it's not a sea otter, man. Not laying my fucking eggs yet. It's too fucking cold. Laying their eggs. Oh, my fuck, Ricky. <sighs> All right, anyway, we, happy yeah, fucking. Happy 2016 16. for most of the world. Yep. Except for one person who it hasn't changed new year yet. New <sighs> resolutions. Being healthy, look at this. Yep. Fuck that. How do you, how's it tasting? It's delicious, Ricky. It's Vodka right. and lettuce. Vodka lettuce is my new drink. I'm not a big fan of the green stuff, but this one here has got a bit of orange and peach, some mangroves, and a, just a little hint of banana and vodka. So we're drinking healthier. Oh, yeah, no, mine's tequila. Tequila and lettuce. Oh, it you is made tequila. Tequila, right. bubs. What does that like? What? Healthy. Yep. Did you blend it up? Ricky made it. Jesus well, Christ. instead of just having a fucking tequila straight or tequila with whatever, you, I mean, this is, uh, yes, I am drinking, but it's a healthy drink because it's got different vitamins. And right. I understand that one, but like in. lettuce, what, like, how did why you would make, you? How did you liquefy the lettuce, by the way? I didn't even ask. Did you see the fucking new blender that Lucy got me? No. Holy fuck, man. It would chop humans up if you threw them in there small enough. It's crazy. It's Not a juicer. You never want to do that. You got a juicer. So you're juicing up lettuce, man. It's not really a juicer. It's it makes... Turbo blender. Fucking I don't know, like, but shit. Don't tequila and lettuce. It's delicious. Lettuce doesn't even have a taste, man. It's a... It's a... Lequila. It's a lequila. 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 Lettuce and tequila. So, I, although I don't start officially 
Like when the new year comes for me in spring, I'm probably going to try to give up everything to be healthy for a bit so I can be around for Mo and shit. But, you know, I am going to start I'm starting to work into it. I didn't get this list done yet, but I'm just working on the days of the week. On Sunday, I'm going to do nothing. No fucking cigarettes, no vapor, no fucking drinking. Monday, I only got the Tuesday so far. Monday, one cigarette, two drinks, healthy drinks like this, and uh, a little vapor. Actually, I have a little bit of that right now. Thank you, Jukasa. See, I can live off this stuff, boys. This will be good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's probably a good thing. I mean, you can smoke that around Mo, any kids. It's not a problem. Well, it's Something the thing around kids. Okay, this is actually healthy. You don't smoke that around Mo, do you? That's you it. You can smoke cigarette. that shit. It's just vapor, man. It's, it smells good, too. He likes to taste it. And you just go up like this, like... Thinks you played a little flute, a little song. He thinks you're playing a flute when you go... Do, 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 I think that's do, a great idea, man. See, that's what pe parents should know about this yep. shit. They, they get one of those, they can pretend it's a flute, smoke it around their kids. You could be bottle feeding or breastfeeding and have them right on your fucking and, knee and smoking away. Right, right. Can you just hold that up again? And Bob's could you just read what's on that sign back there? What? Right there. Hold that up. What, Jukasa? Yeah. And exactly. play a little flute. Now take a puff. Jukasa. You're right. doing ads for them. Well, it's, you know, we, we've got a contract going with these guys. Well, you didn't fucking tell me that. You just said we got some free shit from them. Well, you get, yeah, that's part of the contract shit, man. You have free Vapo shit. Anyway, I think everybody should pick one day a week and do nothing. I'm going to try it. Fuck it. Then I'm going to gradually build into the weekend. Like, today is Friday, and I'm fucking pumped because on Fridays, although I'm not going to smoke too much, except when I drink, which will be later at night, I'm going to party pretty fucking hard tonight, boys. I almost died New Year's Day, and this will be the first time I really let loose since then. That was a bad party, boys. That was a bad one. It was, you know, we've been drinking for many years, boys, together, but New Year's Day party was fucking out of control. And I think it had to do something with this podcast that we're doing, right? We had to be, like, all chilled out for the podcast New Year's Day, yeah, we or did. New Year's Eve. I was still pretty fucked up. I was. Somebody said I fell asleep in the fridge. Is that true? Yeah, you fell asleep in many places, man. We couldn't even fucking wake you up. At one point. But New Year's Day was a whole different fucking man. Do you remember Bubbles giving you mouth to mouth to try to fucking get you going again? No, I have memory loss for two fucking days. That was a bad one. But and I'm here. You walked around the entire park. Entire park. Just shirt and shoes. Like the walking dead. Pants and like underwear. Dead. Gone. Fuck off. Everybody. People were out taking pictures of you. <laughs> Great. With their phones. That's Randy showed a video of it, by awesome. the way. You That's might want fantastic. to talk to him. Yeah. And that's why I've decided I need to chill out a little bit. So on Sundays, well, it's, nothing. It's okay to chill out, but, but you just don't... just wait, Ricky. What actual resolution did you make? Because basically you just said you're just going to get fucked up all the time. But, you know, I've been I've been drinking too much. I've definitely smoked too many cigarettes and way too many fucking joints. I know, but you're still going to do the same amount. You're just organizing when you, you just, do it. It's them. a scheduled time that you're going to do it now. No, I know, but I'm actually going to try to go with one cigarette on Mondays. But well, you said except Tuesdays. for when you're drinking and you drink every night. But if I try to keep the drinks down, I just two healthy drinks on Monday and Tuesday, nothing on Sundays. That's a pretty good regulation. And I wouldn't say that that's a healthy drink, Rick. If you're on the health trip, that's not a fucking healthy drink. This has healthy stuff in it. Oh, man, it's a mango like pop or something. It's a soft drink. It's all sugar. Nope. Liquor. It's a real all sugar. Real fucking oranges. Real what? Mangroves. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> real fucking it's peach. There's a half a peach in that fucking thing. There's not a half a peach in that fucking thing. It's peach fucking pop, man. It's like a soda. Anyway. Well, it's I'm healthy. just saying. Julian, well, look at the, and he's got the chips in front of him, man. Like, are you kidding me? Like, that's not a health kick, but What are these made of, Julian? They're made of potatoes, but there they're also deep potatoes fried. Potatoes not healthy these days, or? Not those kind of fucking potatoes, man. They're not just potatoes. They're deep fried in fucking fat and oil. Okay, so there's some shitty shit put on top, but there's no. some good shit underneath the shitty shit. Like, it's still a fucking potato under there Ricky, with all these the potato are, things in it. These are 100% shit. There's not, nothing good about these for you. They're not made out of fucking basil. It's better than eating drywall, isn't it? Some people do that, which eat, I don't what care. The fuck? What, what do you mean eating drywall? I've seen that on that show, My Strange Admissions. My strange missions. Strange addictions, man. Somebody was eating drywall. 
Yeah, fucking loved it. And uh, that's fucked. I mean, that's not healthy. These, at least, are fucking potatoes. Doesn't matter how they're cooked. Julie. These aren't healthy, man. Still you potato gotta, shit. How much drywall were they eating? A lot. Now, how were they eating it? Barry Manilow. What? How were they eating the drywall? They were just fucking taking it, yanking it off the Did thing. Did you say they, Barry Manilow? I don't know. What happened there? Barry Manilow. Was Barry Manilow eating drywall? Oh, Barry, was where did you fucking come up with that, man? Where did you hear that? My brain just fucking short circulated. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Drywall. Barry. Barry. Fuck. Boys, I got to go home. No, we got. We haven't even talked about any of the stuff we're supposed to talk about. Well, start talking about it then. What do you want to talk about besides? What are you guys gonna have for re- regu- New Year's regulations? Well, I'm. I mean, I sort of piggybacking on yours with the healthy, yeah, healthy stuff. But okay. I do have a one official resolution that I made, and I am gonna stick to it. Right on, boss. I'll, be- I'll get you back on this one. What is what it? Is it? Okay, boys. This is. I mean, you guys gotta. You got to have my back. You got to support me. All right. My resolution for 2016 is to not make resolutions anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Get it? Yeah, that's a good one. That (laughs) sucked. That fucking sucks. I fucking got you, though. No, no, no. You got to make up some kind of resolution. That's it. That's it. So you're not going to change. Fuck all. No, I like things just the way they are. (laughs) You could make some changes, man. Like what? Maybe, okay, you're, that's a good start. Yeah. Eat healthy. But I don't know, man. There's some things. There's well, got to be something. What you got for you, New Year's regulation? I'm going to eat better. I'm going to try to, you know, work out and shit. Oh, and fuck. I'm going to become rich this year. Same fucking regulation. No, I got Wow, Julian, yeah, that's no, amazing. I never heard you make that resolution before. All right, you know what? Okay, the, before these other years, no, things haven't gone that well. But this year, this I mean, rev- I've got. Revolution? It came for me with this game, man. This game, I've okay. got this game. What the fuck is that? What it's is from it? Donnie. Donnie gave me this fucking game. Hair, rears. Careers. 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 I mean, it's a game from back in the 70s, right? But, I mean, there's a lot of good shit in there that you can learn. So I'm going to go back old school, man. I'm going to make money the way people used so to. So your whole fucking business plan, business system, is based on a fucking board game in the well, 70s. It's not, it's not based on, well, it's kind of. I mean, it's a lot of good, good shit in there, man. I'm going to work on a few things. I'll get back to you. But I'm I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be rich this year. Wow. Okay. Ricky, you got to get keep these hey, fucking chips away from me, man. You want to hear something? Fuck, Ricky. I don't know. There was a set of twins born hold this up, year. Hold on. Is this gonna? Is this gonna be really hard on my brain? No. Okay. Hit me then. There was a set of twins born on New Year's Eve. One like right before stroke midnight, and one right after. Mm-hmm. So they're twins, but they were born. In different years. Okay, hold on a second. New Year's Eve. December 31st, 2015, right before midnight. This woman's fucking water explodes. She goes to the hospital instead of partying, which sucks for her. Yeah. Baby born. Baby gets born. Say at like, you know, 11.58. Okay. Then New Year's Where was she, though? So I guess it doesn't matter. Wherever she was, it's still that time. Yes, it's okay. right at there. Yeah, well, here it might have been. No, no, okay. it's New Year's where she is, Ricky. That's the right. point. Yep. And then New Year's happens, and then right after that, other baby born, twins. Not, though. Same mother, right? <laughs> yes, Ricky. She had twins. But they wouldn't really be twins, would they? Yes, they would. one's would a be. year older than the other, technically. Right? Holy fuck, Bob. No, it's only like two minutes older than the why other do you do? Why do you get into this shit with it? No, officially it's two minutes, but no. They're not fucking twins. One's 2015, one's 2016. They're fucking a year apart. They're not twins. Twins, you have to be born on the same fucking day, same fucking year. That's the definition of twins. That's the definition no. of twins, is it? Has nothing to do with, you know, biology or anything. It's just All right. Well, they also have twin twins and the other twins. Okay, here, which is, no, Ricky, no. Here's well, another scenario. They, they, this, the same, this they have the same twins or the ones that are different twins. Uh, what the fuck is it called? Jesus. Paternal. One could even be a boy and a girl. Paternal twins. Paternal. 
Okay. Were they paternal or were they the same? They were identical, I believe. Identical twins. But, see, they're not. Okay, check this out. Not, not Different friends. scenario. Same fucking topic. Riddle me this, because I know how it works with school, because when kids go to school, they base it on the fucking year. So you're telling me those two fucking kids, two minutes apart, are going to go to, one's going to be in grade one, one's going to be in primary. Because that's what would fucking happen. That's fucked, boys. No. No, this, this is even more fucked. Try to wrap your head around this, Ricky. Chick's in a fucking ambulance on her way to a fucking hospital, right? Yeah. She's having a baby. Right. Twins. One pops out. The ambulance keeps flying fucking down the road, gets into a different different time zone that goes back an hour. The other one's born. So the one that came out second is actually born b- before the And one. they cross the state line. And they cross the state line. So they both came from different fucking... Different time, time zones. zones. And different places. However, they would be then, they would be fucking twins because she would have went into the time zone, which was an hour behind, so they would have at least been born the same fucking day, same year, twins. Now they're not. She fucked it up. She should have went to a place where she's like, okay, there's a chance these fucking things are being born t- close to midnight, so I need to be on a border, time zone border, just in case that happens. Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> what she should have did. I'm sure well, that's the fucking first thing on yeah. her mind. Get me to a fucking time zone border. You should write her a letter, man. Or my, or my twins won't be twins. That's what a smart mother would have did. Now she fucked it up, and her kid's going to be one in two different grades. Fuck. Imagine being the fucking oldest cocksucker. He's got a... I mean, the other guy gets an extra year to fucking priority before he goes to school. He's fucked. However, the times on board would be fucked because one would be born in one place. Then See, they wouldn't be twins still. Because one could be born in fucking Toronto... One could be born in Halifax. How? Same day, same year, but... But how would you cover places. that distance in a couple of minutes? You'd need a fast fucking plane or something, I guess. She should Yeah, if she was on a plane, she could have pulled it off. On a plane. Twin oh plane. God. A twin plane. Wow. It's good business for somebody with a lot of money. Want to make sure your twins are fucking born the same day, same year? Twin plane. Twin otter. All right, thinking about, you know, we're on the topic of babies here. Condoms were originally made of animal intestines or linen. Think about that. That would have sucked. Yeah, I've heard of that. Lamb sacks, wasn't there? Lamb. Intestines, man. What was made of that? Condoms. So if you're like, you know, back in the day, you want to do some bang, but you don't want to knock up your wife or your girlfriend or whatever, you have to go outside, fucking slaughter a pig, rip out the intestines, put a knot on the end of it. Put it on your fucking package, your unit, and bang. That's what you had to do when you went to bang back then, not have kids. Well, I guess it'd be worth it, but could have used a sandwich bag. They didn't have sandwich Save bags back then. a lot of fucking then. work. What no, you put Ricky, the have, you, have you ever used a sandwich bag, Ricky? No comment. Yes. I knew yes, it. Yes, he has used sandwich bags. Remember... We found him that time he, when he was passed out with oh, yeah, the sandwich yeah. bag on his wiener. Well, it's better than having fucking 40 kids running around, isn't it, boys? But, Ricky, he's talking about back in the olden days. Like, there was no sandwich bags. There's nothing. So back then you said to hold your sandwich in your hand all fucking day and walk around with it? Jesus Christ, Ricky. You didn't eat what? sandwiches back then, Where? Ricky. He's talking about what, what year? I don't know, man. It's way back. Say it's the fucking 1500s. People weren't walking around with sandwiches. Right. They had turkey legs and things back then. Well, still, I mean, okay, how the fuck am I not going to have a kid? I don't know, I'll go kill my fucking, what was it he killed? A pig or an I'm animal, I'm going to go there man. and kill my fucking pet pig, gut him, and make a fucking dome out of his intestines? That's yeah. fucked. I would never have thought of that. I would have come up with something way easier. Like what? You're way back, there's like nothing. They can't make anything back then. It's not as if they're fucking pumping out bags. Oh, I could have went to a lake, got some... Mud clay, threw that okay. on there, let it harden so that it's airtight, bang away. And then you probably even reuse it. Not- the girl does, wouldn't mind you banging her with a dirty old mud dick. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, that's fucked, Ricky. And what would mud do to a man? Think about Ricky, it. Ricky, if you built a fucking it. mud hut for your wiener that was hardened, I mean, what's the point of banging then? You're not going to feel anything. You're going to be banging the clay thing. Well, there well, must just be a point before it gets completely hard where it's still going to keep everything inside of it. Jesus Christ. No, I mean, it'd be easier to bang the fucking mud flat there. Just get down, 
grammar and stuff. That's what banging. I mean. You would end up just banging the mud thing you built. Why would you even? Well, that was the first thing that came to me. Well, that would not work. There's, I'm sure there's lots of other things better than fucking killing your pet pig and ripping those intestines and smearing those all over your car. I'd like to hear what else you might come up with. Mm. I'll come up with a few things and I'll get back to you on that. What else do you want to talk about in this thing? Anything? Or besides intestine cocks? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just... I'm thinking it might be time to go mix up some more drinks. Oh, really? Some more tequila. It's lettuce tequila. What, is, is it time to fucking end this or what? Buzz, it's not time to end this stuff. No? Oh, what time is it? Do we have... All right, point back at the fridge for a sec. Both of you. What? What? Just point at the fucking fridge. I want to know what I'm Just getting out of Just fucking point at the fridge, will you? What is this doing Just point for at... See? Man, That's I'm all telling I want. you, they're better than my... He's not making some something fucking off this. Under-the-table deals going on here. He's making something off this. Yeah. All right, you guys know that there's 200 frozen fucking corpses on Mount Everest. Did you know that? Do you want to talk about shit? Jeez, That's hey, oh, something. No, else here, I got something to talk about. Look at this. 200 frozen corpses? Yeah, man. Like, they're still, they're not going to take them home with them. Ice men and ice women? Yes. Okay. 200 and the dead people, people And then the hikers use them as waypoints. Oh, yeah, instead of using, like, a flag to say, here you are, it's just like... Dougie Flynn. No, like there. if you get the, you know, you get the guide and stuff, it'd be like, you know, go up, you know, 500 feet, take a right at fucking Dougie. He's missing his arm and his fucking jaw. So they've never they, had proper pro proper burials. Well, they did up in the fucking mountain. They're not going to the hunt them back down. I guess at least they died for a reason. Why don't they just Happy throw them, them, toss them off the mountain? GPS. At least. Just keep tossing them until they, they reach the bottom of it. What'd you say? Use them as GPS. Well, if that's what they're saying now, go up to fucking Dougie, you hook her right up to Terry. Yeah, it's kind of like GPS, I guess, but not really. It's not right. anything like GPS. What are you talking about? It's more like a map. A map, yeah. It's more like a map. It's got nothing to do with GPS, global positioning system. Well, I guess frozen body map, then. Is there enough of them that you could actually get to the top if you follow them? I'd say there's enough people, yeah. There's enough dead people well, on there. It depends on where they are, trail. Julian. Obviously, probably not when you think about it, because in the final stretch, you're not going to have, you know, oh, fuck, he's only 20 feet from the top. He didn't make her. And plus, someone would have to actually die and frozen at the top, because you're going to have to get there eventually. That's what I mean, so... Depends on where they are. There could be 200 all scattered down low, you know. They might have slid down in the thaw or whatever. So it should make it into where not to go, frozen ice. Well, yeah, you'd think that maybe this isn't a good idea. This guy's dead, and I'm here at this point, and I'm going to go up to the next dead person. Like, at, at some point, you must, you'd have to say, holy fuck, uh, fuck I'm going to die. We, we fucked up. Yeah. This is where Michael fucking froze though. He's right under us right now. We fucked what the fuck are we doing on this fucked. mountain? Yeah, they probably should use it as a a not map. A do not map. No more fucking chips on the table, Ricky, when okay. we do these goddamn things. I'll put out healthier shit for the next one, I promise. Hey, I'm not talking mango fucking pop. Do you want to hear one of my facts? Bring it on, man. Listen to this, Ricky. When T Twister was introduced in 1966, it was denounced by critics as sex in a box. I thought you might get... Twi oh, fuck. I thought you meant Twisted Sister for a second. I can kind of combine those words. So oh, Twister. Twister. Oh, the Twister, the game. They, they said it was for sex? No, they called it Sex in a Box. I thought you'd find no that No shit! Fine. Oh, shit. He? I know, man. <laughs> what the fuck do you think it's for? Every time he plays Twister, he ends up banging. <laughs> no, but when you're young and... You know, you're trying to... Get young, you still play it, man. No, I know, but when you're young, that's what it's for. It's for kids trying to get the bang going, getting in all fucked up positions. Then you get a boner and you want to stick in things. And... So do you get a boner every time you play Twister? Not so much anymore, but back in the day, I mean, that was that was. Hot. Why not now? Well, I used to play Twister with you all the time. Uh -huh. It was erect. Well, I'm not saying I'm getting boners because of you, but if we were playing with some girls, which we did a lot... I probably or may not have. Oh, I know. I remember. Plus, why do you think I always bailed out early, man? You were, like, determined to finish it. I Be the winner, but you don't know how many times as a wrecked penis.
touched you, man, for like a long time. That's not true. Rubbing up against you. A couple times maybe, but it didn't happen no, that man, often. No, man, every fucking time. No, I usually made sure I twisted myself close to a girl. Corey Jacob, same thing with that. Do not anyway, play Twister with fact, Ricky. The people didn't think Twister was for sex. I mean, that's dumb. Here, you want to hear a real, real crazy one, Ricky? <laughs> Oh, man. Barry Mallow. <laughs> Why do I keep having Barry Mallow's name in my mind? Why does he? What, did you do something? I don't know. Night? It must have been fucked out of your mind. I know Lucy loves him. It must be something. I don't know. You said Fuck. you had a sex dream last night. Now you're saying Barry Manilow over and over. That's again. not true. You're attracted to Barry Manilow. No. It is, man. If he was a female alien, maybe. I know a guy named Larry Manilow. How weird is that? That's pretty fucked up. Mary Banilow. Yeah, Mary Banilow, too. <laughs> Who? Mary Banilow that has the potluck Banilow. supper down at the church. That's not her name. Mary Banilow. Mary Banilow. No, it isn't. It's Manny. Mary. Bannister? Mini Manilow. What the fuck is her name? Who gives a fuck what her name is? What's the... What's the that's not was, lettuce, is it? There's a lot of tequila in that, and they're... I'm not... You know what? I just wanted to lettuce. see if you could it's juice weed. weed drink. Bob, see, you can't smell weed? Weed is healthy, though. Oh, You're juicing God. weed for it, man. Not much juice came out of it. It's just Because it was bit. fucking weed. <laughs> it's fucking good, though, isn't it? I gotta go, boys. No, you're I'm good. I'm gonna start having a panic attack. I, what makes you feeling better is a tiny bit of honey oil in this, and it's wonderful. Are you okay? Yeah. All right, one more thing. Bubs, pinch your elbow. Boys, both of you. As hard as you can. Ah, fuck. No, it, it's not supposed to hurt. This is uh, a new thing. Is it the bone? one place in your body you can pinch as hard as you can. Squeeze the bone. <laughs> Don't pinch the, your elbow, the skin. The skin. You feel okay. that? You got the skin beneath the well, I knew that. Yeah, there's no feeling, right? You'd pinch anywhere else, it hurts. I knew that. You well, didn't know that? I never really thought I used to it. make so money at parties hooking vice grips to my arms, remember? Well, this probably would hurt with a vice grip. So you could rip this right the fuck off, you really. could, Yeah, man. Well, That's no, cool. Ricky, because it's attached to things that do have nerves, so eventually you're going to feel pain out here. All right, that's kind of a cool, fun little fact. All right, are we done here? That's what we're ending on. You can fucking pinch your elbow. Well, you fucking ended on something else. I got nothing. Boys, I'm starting to freak out. Do they have Gore-Tex back when we were talking about the condoms? You could have just taken a Gore-Tex jacket, ripped off a fucking part of the sleeve, wrapped that around your wiener instead of gutting your pet pig. <laughs> Gore-Tex jacket? Ricky, they didn't have fucking sandwich bags. They definitely didn't have fucking Gore-Tex. You kidding me? Did they? Okay. Ricky. You got it. <sighs> back in the fucking old west, you see fucking... Cowboys walking around with Gore-Tex jackets on? <laughs> well, I guess, I don't know. I would definitely have figured something out better than killing my fucking pet pig and ripping out his guts. That guy was a Okay, well, you fuck. think about it. Next time, we're going to see what you come up with. i got to finish uh, my so fucking list. Of you finished your list. Maybe we'll talk about it next Revolutions. Week. Rebel. Re Resolution, man. Re Resolutions. Res Resolutions. This, this is resolution. Let's just fucking end this. All right, that's it. Thanks for listening. Jacasa. Point. One more Stop time. One more that. time. One more time. Man. Just one more time. Just make everybody out. I want to know what the fucking real deal just is. Point here. the fridge. Instead of giving me one of these fucking things. Take a haul off it. Play no, play the flute thing. Tell me what the deal is. I'm not doing any more of this shit. I'll tell you if you fucking start playing that thing like a flute. Here, I got a flute you can play. That's Skin real, flute. That's <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Bob's. All right, puff on it. Thanks, motherfuckers. Cheers, guys. Let's get drunk. Mm -hmm.